So sometimes selecting um, an object and taking it out of its background um, is a little bit harder uh, than something that has a high contrast uh, foreground to a high contrast background so you can really see the difference between the front and the back um, and sometimes uh, the hardest thing to do is is hair and so I'm going to um, pull in an image of my dog and That's not it. There we go. Um, and so here's my dog, and I want to um, silhouette uh, the hair around her, and I want to get, take her out of uh, the uh, the luggage that she's sitting on at the moment. <clears throat> And so in the past, what we used to do is we used to take the pen tool and we would like draw meticulously all the way around, trying to get as many hairs as possible as we could, and this would take forever and ever and ever to do. But uh, in this day and age, we have a faster way of doing that using um, the technology of, of Photoshop. Um, and so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go and we're going to go to the quick selection tool. And what I want to do is I want to select and mask um, to separate the dog from the background. So I'm going to click on that. And as we come over here, we are going to see right now that there's different views. You could have an onion skin view, um, marching ants overlay on black, on white, black and white on layers. And so what I want to do is I want to do an overlay. Uh, and so I can kind of see what's going on when I um, take the selection tool and select um, areas of the dog. So I want to select the dog and take the dog away from the background. So to do this I'm going to have this make sure that I'm on the plus side of this and right now the brush seems a little bit small so we're going to use the bracket key to make the um, to make the bracket a little bit bigger, uh, make the brush bigger with the um, right bracket key as opposed to the left bracket key and then I'm just going to kind of come around and kind of try and grab the dog okay so you know you can see that there are some places that uh, that I missed and some places that uh, that I got too much of like the bag here and so we can um, hold the option key down and you'll see when you hold the option key down it goes to this negative um, selection tool so we want to take away stuff and so we can kind of come in here kind of take away take away the bag here that I grabbed too much of uh, I can make the, br the brush smaller using the left bracket click bracket key and then hold the option key down again and take away take away I think I got a little bit of the, the bedspread here take away take away take away uh, take away and take away take away take away all right so we don't have to get really too detailed in this uh, because now we're gonna we're gonna do some other things um, and for one thing, um, we're going to come over here to the properties panel and we're going to go into smart radius. We're going to click on smart radius and then we're going to add you know, about 40 pixels to the radius. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to view this in black and white. So you can see that um, in black and white we've got some, some gray areas here. Um, that we probably don't need to have and so I'm going to come down here to this brush uh, this selection tool which um, is basically the hair selection tool and now what we can do is kind of again holding the option key down take away things that we don't want so I'm just going to click and see what happens a little bit a little bit a little bit. Come 
around here. I think it's, uh, it's a little bit of gray here and here and here and right in here. So as I'm going around, get some really nice. Um, we're getting a lot of nice hair going on here. And you could also add in hair if you wanted to by hold, by um, just going to the plus hair selection tool. And if you feel like there might be some things that are too sharp. So I just added that in and again, so I'll take some more away uh, where I don't think I need as much. Maybe around here. And oh, that's, I think that's pretty good. All right. And so what we want to do now is we want to come down here and we want to, you can make a selection, make a layer mask. And what I want to do is I want to make a new layer with a layer mask. So if I click on that and then click OK, um, we have, here's the original on the background layer. And here is my dog with the background taken out. You can see the checkerboard is is the uh, invisible content on the page, transparent content. Um, and so just to show you what we can do, I'm going to add another layer here and bring it behind the dog. And then I'm going to fill that layer. Edit fill. And I'll select a color. Um, maybe like a dark purple. Click OK and OK. And you can see now how nicely um, the dog has been separated from the background. And we can take this image with the layer mask on it and bring it anywhere. Um, go to this and we can take our dog and just drag this layer on top of here and uh, oops, command Z, can I make the move tool and now we have the dog taking a nap on a car There you go. Thanks.